Hello, my lovelies. Myrtle here, and we are back with more Cube Escape. Uh, we are going to Arlie's. And I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. Arlie's October 1888. What do I remember? Now we got 1888. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to put that with my year log. Uh, you never know what numbers are going to be important for other things. Okay. The door is locked. We have a bed. Alright, we have taken a hat. Uh, oh, something fell out of that coat. We have a picture of three bottles, a pitcher, and a cup. And I don't know what that does. Alright, we have a key now. So, let's go back to exploring this. Alright, we have some Van Gogh paintings that are missing pieces that we're going to have to find. Um, apparently we're going to need paints at some point. Um, I'm going to guess that the colors are hidden about the room. There we have a chair. Got a window. Pfft. Okay. <laughs> that was an achievement called Row, Row, Row the Boat. <laughs> We're clicking on the guy in the boat. Alright. We are Van Gogh. We currently have our ears, which is good. Which, uh, if I remember correctly, he didn't actually, like, cut off his entire ear. It was just, like, a piece of it. Which is still, you know, not a good thing to do to yourself. Okay. Well, that obviously goes there. Alright, now we can slide stuff around. Alright, well, did I put the picture in the painting? No. So I don't know what to do with the 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 blah 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 blah. All right, words are failing me, but that's nothing new. Oh, okay. So green is. Oh, I, I'm gonna guess this is a very cursive. Uh, oh God, I can't. Oh God, I can't. I can't tell if this is an L or if it's like a B because it's got the little thing on the end. Ugh. All right. Well, is this the key of the door? No, that is not the key of the door because that would be too easy. All right. Well, that is R A. Like, oh. okay. So that's the cabinet key. Now we got a bottle of wine. All right. We need another key. A vase of some kind. We have a sugar cube. Yeah, another painting piece. Oh, this is a puzzle of some sort. Do I want them? Oh. Well, I don't know what I'm doing with it, so I'm just gonna leave it be for now. All right, we got another painting piece. We've got that kind of, oh, oh, I get it. We're going to be making absinthe at some point. All right, well, you're going to go sit there. All right, well, let's go see what we're going to do with the wine and all that jazz. All right, I'm still missing two picture pieces. I'm sure they're, they're scattered about the room. Oh, that's n not, no, no, this is great. Uh, okay, well, how do I make the paints? Uh, I don't think it's going to let me do All right, well, let's start. I think I can just use the kind. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so we have a G. So blue is G, because that totally makes sense. Oh, well, the, we have a, a towel here. So white is whatever... Looks like WM. We have another locked door. It's on the ceiling. Does not appear to be anything currently on the ceiling. I say currently because we've had stuff appear on the ceiling at random times, including a bloody eyeball. Alright, so we're missing. Oh. I am really dumb. I can see. Alright, so we got one painting. Oops. Ooh, we got... Oh, okay. Well... I don't know what the hell that was, but that was definitely a thing. Alright. I still don't know what that does. Um, do I do anything with the wine? Okay, so the wine goes here. Alright, well, if I make ink paints... My oh, I I emptied the wine out of the bottle. I don't know why I did that or what the point of that was. Okay, 
Um, also, the, this looks like an ear in the water, and I just... I'm not having it. Alright, I don't know what we need to do with the wine there. Um, I'm going to guess at some point we're doing the ear thing. Cause, and that's just like, ugh. So, obviously, be concerned about... Okay. Okay, now I know what this does. Alright. Nope, nope, I want up. Nope, I want up. We're going to get this. I'm going to get this. Go on that one. Holy crap. Alright, so a flower puzzle is basically <laughs> a pain in the ass. Um, uh, you just have to make all of these small to make this one big. And now we have another key, which I'm going to guess opens up the other side of this cabinet. And now we have a knife. And I think we're still missing a picture piece somewhere because I'm dumb. So we're going to look for that. Just can't click zoom in by the door. Oh, well, there's a bottle of absinthe under the pillows. Yellow is HN. Double checking the coats. All right, there's no picture piece hiding here. Um, there's none hiding by the chair. There's none in the drawer. Do I need to put the absinthe in anything over here? Apparently I can fill everything up with absinthe. I don't know what that does, but okay. Let's just... Alright. Um, I don't like this, but... Yep. Now we got the ear. Okay. I don't know why we needed the ear, but that's an achievement. And I don't know why we put the ear in the bowl, but it just had a thing. Um, have a hat. No, you don't get the hat. Okay. Um, probably should put a band-aid on that, Van Gogh. Just saying. All right. We're so we're still locked in the room. Um. I'm not fiddling with those sunflowers again. Alright, I'm not seeing a, a piece there, but... Alright, so now we have made absinthe. And that gave us our missing painting piece that I was looking for. Woo! Uh, totally meant to do that. No, I didn't. Okay. Um... That was just disturbing. Alright, well, I'm going to guess this key does not work on that door. We've already unlocked that. So this is the only other thing I can think of. Hey, dude. Uh, it's your friend Paul. Okay. Well, what does Paul do? Um, you want a drink? Okay. That... Uh, you want wine? Alright, well, I, I got an achievement for giving Paul absinthe, but I don't know why Paul is here. You need a hat? Okay, so Paul needed the hat, now we have a palette. I, okay, that was all Paul was here for. Um, do we use the... What do we... Uh, well, I have a palette. I don't have any paints on the palette. We cannot... Pretend to be Bob Ross without paints. And I don't know what paints need to go in here. Alright, well that brush doesn't work. Alright, I, I... Again, I don't know what I need to do with those. It's not clear. But I need these bottles, and I have them, so they do something. I'm like, I cannot figure out what. So we got horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines, and I don't know what any of that means. I can't do anything with this. Alright, the pa Oh, alright, so I do have paints. Okay. Um. And I forgot what all the colors are. Alright, uh. HN is yellow. Let's start there. Grab us paintbrush. We got yellow. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, we're painting. This is like, I am painting with my mouse, which is just a dangerous thing to do. It's like being back in MS Paint. MS Paint. Oh, I'm so old. All right. Okay. Now, let's see. What other? RA is the kind of aqua green. So let's go ahead and grab that. And we're going to paint down here. Oh, well, that just auto filled that in for me. Okay. So, let's see. G is the blue. So let's go ahead and grab us some blue. And we're going to go ahead and paint. The moon is blue. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, this should be white, but I will. Yeah, so white is the WM. So let's go ahead and grab some white. And the fact that we're not cleaning this brush means that this would definitely not show up as white. I, as somebody who actually took painting glasses, will attest. The second you touch white with any not white color, you're, it is absolutely really ruined. You've buggered it. You've buggered it. And I'm just, I don't, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Something is wrong with me, but it's probably everything. Also, I'm surprised this hasn't just like auto filled in yet. Apparently I've not thrown enough white paint on this or I'm coloring it wrong. Oh, nope, there it goes. All right. Um, now we need our, I really think that's an eye and I don't remember where I saw that. All right. Um, Mm -hmm. It was not there. Not there. Not in the mirror. Yeah, we'll just say I intentionally meant to close that to get rid of the draft. All right. Um. Shit, where the hell did I see that? All right, that's the flower puzzle. The G. I lost the I. Oh, well, this is the, looks like a QL. It's the light, so let's go ahead and do that. This is everything. Like, this is gonna take a hot second. I like how it corrects my painting mistakes when I come back to the painting. That's nice. Real paintings don't do that. I mean, you can paint over stuff. Like, acrylics dry really quickly, easy to paint over. Uh, oil paints take a little longer to dry. Uh, yeah, usually you're looking 24, 72 hours, uh, depending on how thick you're painting, for it just to dry to the touch, but technically takes longer than that to cure. I think it's like two weeks or longer. No, I think it's longer than that. Um, Watercolors dry really quickly, and you can kind of paint over it, but, you know, it's hard to be, like, subtle with if you're trying to be, like, very, like, dainty with your watercolors. Yeah. Acrylics, honestly, I think, if you're painting over something, is, like, the most forgiving. Um, you do not mix oil and acrylics. Don't do it. I... I like again, I don't, I don't even know what. To, like, like, nobody cares about any of this. <laughs> nobody does. Oh. I honestly, I enjoy painting beta fish. They're very colorful, and I like their fluid movements. I usually paint them on like a three inch by three inch black canvas. Uh. So they're floating in the void of space. Well, or just the void, I guess, because, you know, there are no stars. I like, I like doing people. I don't do realism. Alright. I gotta figure out what color that, that is. I, I'm so mad, because, like, I know I saw that, and I was struggling with that letter. And, oh, it's right there, and it's green. Oh, my God. Wait, would, uh, it's this green. It's that green. It's the green we haven't used. That's what it is. Because we've already used the other green. 
There we go. Now we have our crappy line. All right. So now it looks a lot better. And then we have our mystery thing here. So we're going to leave the mystery and, you know, until we figure that out. And then we're going to try and figure out what the hell we're doing with these fluids. All right. So I'm going to guess I need one with water, one with absinthe. I would assume one with wine. I don't know what the hell goes in these. I would assume you're going to have a glass of water. Uh, and you really should not have a pitcher of absinthe. I just think that would... Nope. All right. I apparently... I... What am I doing here? What am I doing here? <sighs> All right. We're just going to start playing the mixing stuff until we get this. All right. Again, I don't think we need... All right. I really think this should be wine. I think it should be wine because of the neck shape of this pitcher. So I'm going to assume that this is wine. I think that we still need a thing of water, a thing of wine, and a thing of absinthe. The question is, what are we drinking? And apparently it's not water. So let's try absinthe. And we are apparently drinking absinthe and now the ear is all glowy and magical. Um, uh, well, we are going in Van Gogh's severed ear. Our, apparently our pink color that we are missing is black. There is a gun. We have a gun from the inside of the ear. Well, we have a blue door and a black door. Well, let's go to the blue door. Or not. Okay. Okay, we have to do a balancing act. Alright. Well, I think an anvil is going to be too heavy. So maybe not. In a, okay. It's not quite right, maybe? I. Oh, shit. It's a math puzzle. Okay. Um, the drum is equal to one, the hammer is equal to three. Alright, so if this is three. This is obviously more than three. I'd say it's probably like a five, say four. All right, so say anvil is five. And then we'll say this is a four. All right, so now I need to figure out the shells. All right, so if the drum is a one, everything's gonna be higher than a one. Or not. So that looks like a zero then. Alright, so a little one. Ah! Flippin'. Alright. Alright, so we know it's probably a zero, a four, something, and a five. Alright, so let's figure out how big the big shell is. Alright, so if this is a four, it's heavier than a four. Alright, well, is it heavier than a five? It's lighter than a five, so is it also a four? All right, so let's try zero, four, four, and a five. That is not the code for the door. Okay. Eat for shits and giggles. Let's try some of our old numbers. Let's start with 14. Can I go to 87? Eight. And a seven it is not fourteen eighty seven. Well, is it fourteen twenty two? We're checking for secrets at this point, and I passed my two. Okay, so it's not either of those numbers. All right, so this is actually legit math. All right, so all right, so we know. That whatever this is is heavier than that. So, okay. All right. So, anvil is the heaviest. Then the big shell. And then, um, is this heavier than the hammer? Okay. Um, It might be slightly heavier. So then we have whatever the... We have a... Uh, I don't know what the heck we call this. 
I don't even know what that is. Uh, we'll just call it a seat. Because it looks like a seat. Uh, and then the hammer. Alright. Uh, obviously. Alright. So then the drum. It's heavier than the little shell. Alright. So if we know the drum is one, the little shell has to be zero. And we know the hammer is three. Alright. So the hammer is three. This is significantly heavier than the hammer. Yeah. So, I mean... And this is just slightly heavier. So I'd say the seat is probably, like I said, a four. So the seat is a four. I don't know. Shell could be like a five or six. And then the anvil, I'd say, is probably like a seven or an eight. Still gives us way too many numbers. All right. All right. So we're relatively certain that this is a four. All right. So then let's see. Let's go ahead and try this as a five. And then let's try this as a seven. That's not correct. Okay. Four. Let's maybe try this as a six, and we'll keep this. Well, actually, this is significantly heavier, so we'll try eight. That's not right. Okay. Let's maybe go back and try this as a five with eight. All right. I don't know. Well, okay. Apparently, the trumpet or shell, little shell, I don't know what it is. Looks like a trumpet here, but looks like a little shell out there. Apparently it was a one. Okay, so we have that door unlocked. Now how do we open the blue door? I'd like to open the blue door. Okay. Well, let's go through the door that was the most difficult to open. Okay. Um, well. Alright, we have a shadowy Van Gogh, whose eyes are in the very wrong place. Uh, I have a feeling I, I, my God, I, I hate this. All right. Oh, yep. Okay. Well, now we're going to have to, is the ear still here? The ear is still here. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. If, well, I forgot to do the painting thing. But that's fine. We're going to go back here. Let's go back to the blue door. Okay. There's nobody in the mirror now. Which, again, it's really weird that the mirror is just, you know, up the wall. Right. Okay. So let's go ahead and paint this in. And this is like, I'm just, I, I'm i doing this quickly. Although I, I'm not even really trying to stay inside the lines because it's going to just fix itself. Okay. All right. That was an achievement. Black cube. So we have... The black cube and the white cube, and if this achievement would move, I could check my inventory. Alright. So I don't think we're going to need these for the moment. Okay. Alright, well, I think that these need to go in here. Okay. So those are now in there. And we missed an achievement. And I, hmm, that's going to bother me. Alright, so I went back through. I could not figure out the missing achievement for our leaves. So uh, we're going to have to eventually go back and figure that out. Uh, but we're going to skip it for now. And we're going to go into the next part, Harvey's Box, for the next video. Uh, again, do all the YouTube stuff that you need to do. Uh, there's going to be a link for a video if you want to check out another video all that stuff. Uh, thank you for watching. And like I said, I will see you in Harvey's box where the weirdness will continue. And we're getting close to being about halfway through these. So woo!